If you have diabetes, you know how difficult it is to keep track of your health on a daily basis. That feeling of uncertainty, the fear that something as simple as tea could disrupt your blood sugar. This affects not only your well-being, but the functioning of your kidneys, and even your blood pressure can get out of control. Maybe you've already been through this, feeling bad without understanding why, and look, often, without knowing it, we end up drinking teas that make everything worse. In this video, we're going to talk about five teas that, despite seeming harmless, can be dangerous for those with diabetes. They directly affect blood sugar, put stress on the kidneys, and even increase blood pressure, and it is crucial that you know about these teas to avoid serious problems. I'll also share some safe and delicious recipes that can help manage diabetes, so stay with me until the end. But before we continue, hit the like button if you love health content. Tea number five, hibiscus. Take a deep breath, because what I'm going to tell you now may surprise you, but it's something that anyone with diabetes needs to be aware of. Many people talk wonderful things about hibiscus tea. It is famous for helping with weight loss, reducing fluid retention, and being a great diuretic. But is it really a good option for those who face the daily challenge of controlling their blood sugar? I'm already telling you that it's not quite like that. Despite being popular, and even loved by many, hibiscus can cause some serious problems for those with diabetes. Do you know why? Let's go in parts. First, hibiscus is known to be a potent diuretic. This means that it causes your body to eliminate more fluids, which helps to reduce swelling. However, for those with diabetes, this effect can be a bit insidious. If the body starts to lose fluid too quickly, the kidneys have to work overtime. And anyone who lives with diabetes knows that the kidneys are already very sensitive organs and need to be well looked after. This extra effort can, over time, overload the kidneys, which may already be in a weakened state, and that's not something we want, right? Another point that almost no one mentions is that hibiscus can also lower blood pressure. This, in itself, may be a benefit for some people, but for those who have diabetes and are already taking medication for high blood pressure, the combination may not be the best. What happens is that hibiscus tea can enhance the effect of these medications. And then, instead of helping, it could end up lowering your blood pressure too much, and you could start to feel weak, dizzy, or even run the risk of fainting. Imagine feeling sick without knowing that it was that simple hibiscus tea that triggered all this. And that's why I'm warning you. What's good for one may not be good for another, especially for those with specific conditions like diabetes. Furthermore, hibiscus can alter the balance of some minerals in the body, such as potassium and sodium. For those whose kidneys are already working at their limit, this can be another complication. When these minerals become unregulated, the risk of heart and kidney problems increases considerably. Now you may be thinking, but now, what do I do if I love tea to relax? The good news is that there are other tea options that are much safer for those with diabetes. An example that I always recommend is chamomile tea. Chamomile is a health ally. It helps to calm down, improves digestion, and most importantly, it does not have those complicated effects that hibiscus can bring. With it, you don't have to worry about your blood pressure plummeting or your kidneys working too hard. And do you want a practical tip? If you usually drink tea at night to relax, chamomile can be a great choice as it helps to improve your sleep without affecting your glucose levels or giving you a scare with your blood pressure. The recipe is very simple so you can do it right now. Boil 250 milliliter of water, turn off the heat and add a tablespoon of dried chamomile flowers to the hot water. Cover, let it infuse for about five minutes, strain and that's it. There's a tea that will help you relax and take care of your health without taking unnecessary risks. At the end of the day, the most important thing is to always be aware of what we put into our bodies, no matter how harmless it may seem. Hibiscus may be good for some people, but for those with diabetes it can be a hidden danger. So, the next time you think about having a cup of tea, you know, think about your health first. And of course, opt for safer choices, such as chamomile, which will provide you with well-being without putting your health at risk. Transform your diet and take care of your health like never before. If you have diabetes, kidney, liver issues, or high blood pressure, and you're tired of bland recipes, this book is for you. Discover incredible savory and sweet recipes made with simple ingredients you already have at home, all designed to keep your health in check. Don't miss this unique opportunity. For less than $10, you can secure your copy, but units at this price are limited. Click on the first comment of this video and get yours now. T number four, fennel. Now, take a deep breath once again, because we're going to talk about another tea that many people love, but which can carry some risks if you have diabetes. Fennel. We grow up hearing that fennel is good for the stomach, helps with digestion, and even relieves gas. And in fact, it has these properties. But the story changes a little when we talk about blood sugar control and the care that those with diabetes need to take. Fennel has a curious effect on the body. In addition to helping with digestion, it is known for having compounds that can, in a certain way, imitate 
imitate the effect of estrogen, the female hormone. This means that when you drink fennel tea frequently, it can mess with your body's hormonal balance. For those with diabetes, any hormonal change can be a trigger for uncontrolled blood sugar levels. You may have already noticed that, during periods of stress or hormonal changes, glucose control becomes more difficult. And fennel tea, if consumed regularly, can contribute to this. Another important point is that fennel has an effect that many people don't realize. It can lower your appetite. For anyone trying to control diabetes, it is essential to have a regular and balanced diet without skipping meals. When fennel decreases your appetite, you may end up eating less than necessary or even worse, you may skip meals without realizing it. This is a danger because maintaining a stable diet throughout the day is one of the keys to controlling sugar levels. If you don't eat properly, your body can react with glucose spikes or even hypoglycemia, which is when your blood sugar drops too low. And believe me, this can happen quickly, and the symptoms, such as dizziness, cold sweat and weakness, are very unpleasant and dangerous. Furthermore, fennel tea, when consumed in excess, can overload the liver. The liver already plays a key role in controlling glucose in the body, so when it is forced to work harder to process substances in tea, this can make it more difficult to control blood sugar levels. In other words, once again, fennel, which seems so harmless, could end up complicating your diabetes care routine. And I know that so far it may seem like I'm taking all the teas off your menu, but calm down. I will always bring safe alternatives because I understand that drinking tea to relax or even to help with digestion is a pleasant routine for many people. Instead of anise, you can opt for a tea that is much safer and more beneficial for your glycemic control. Mint tea. Mint tea is an excellent choice for those who want to improve their digestion and feel lighter without affecting their blood sugar. It is refreshing, has a delicious flavor, and does not cause the same negative effects that fennel can bring. Furthermore, it helps to relax and relieve tension, making it a great option to take after a heavy meal or before bed. If you want to try mint tea, it's very simple. Boil 250 ml of water and add some fresh mint leaves to the hot water. Leave to infuse for about 5 minutes. Strain and drink warm or even cold if you prefer. It will provide you with that feeling of freshness and well-being without the risk of altering your appetite or interfering with sugar levels. A perfect drink for those who need to take more care of their health. It's always good to remember that when it comes to diabetes, the secret is to make safe choices that help maintain the body's balance. Fennel may seem like a good option for digestion, but the risk it brings to glycemic control and the impact it can have on the liver is not worth it. With safer alternatives such as mint tea, you can take care of your body, relax and still stay in control of your health without any worries. So the next time you prepare a tea for after lunch or before bed, remember, mint is a much safer ally for those with diabetes. Always choose what is best for your health because in the end, the well-being and balance of your body are worth more than any fad or popular tip. If you're enjoying the tips and recipes, don't forget to hit the like button to support our work. Tea number three, ginger. Now take a deep breath again, because ginger, which is so famous for its benefits, can be a real problem if you have diabetes. Everyone has heard that ginger is great for immunity, helps with digestion, fights nausea, and even has anti-inflammatory properties. But the truth is, for those who need to keep their blood sugar levels balanced, ginger can be more of a complication than a help. Ginger has a powerful effect on the body, and it is precisely this power that can cause problems. It is known to speed up metabolism, which is great for anyone trying to lose weight or improve digestion. But this effect can also cause your blood sugar to drop quickly especially if you're taking diabetes medications. Combining ginger with these medications may intensify the glucose-lowering effects, leading to an increased risk of hypoglycemia. Imagine the scene. You are there, calm, thinking that a cup of ginger tea will do you good, but suddenly you start to feel weak, dizzy, and cold sweat. These are classic signs that your blood sugar is dropping too fast. If not treated immediately, hypoglycemia can even cause fainting and, in more serious cases, lead to serious complications. Therefore, it is important to be careful with consuming ginger, especially in large quantities, when you are already using medications to control diabetes. Another important point is that ginger, as it is such a strong root, can irritate some people's stomach, causing discomfort such as heartburn and abdominal pain. For those who already have more sensitive digestion, or for those who take medications that affect the stomach, this can be another complication. And when you have diabetes, it's important to keep your stomach healthy, as poor digestion can interfere with the way your body absorbs nutrients, and consequently, 
blood sugar control. Additionally, ginger has a blood thinning effect, which means it can make clotting difficult. If you take anticoagulant medications or have a circulation problem, this can become a risk, especially in cases of cuts or injuries. For those with diabetes, healing may be slower, so it's a good idea to avoid anything that could increase the risk of bleeding. I know that ginger is a favorite ingredient for many people, mainly because of its spicy and refreshing flavor, but for those with diabetes, consumption needs to be well controlled. I'm not telling you to never use ginger again, but it's important to moderate the amount and make sure it won't interfere with your medications or glucose control. Now, if you like a tea with a touch of spice, without the risks that ginger brings, I recommend cinnamon tea. Cinnamon has properties that help regulate blood sugar rather than destabilizing it. Furthermore, cinnamon is an ingredient that, if used in moderation, can even help improve insulin sensitivity, making it a much safer and more effective option for those with diabetes. The recipe for a good cinnamon tea is very simple and easy to include in your routine. Boil 250 ml of water, turn off the heat and place a piece of cinnamon stick in the hot water. Cover and leave to infuse for about 5 to 10 minutes. Then just strain and drink warm. Cinnamon tea has a strong, slightly sweet flavor that can help reduce sugar cravings. And best of all, it won't cause spikes or sudden drops in your glucose level. So the next time you think about using ginger, remember that for those with diabetes, it can be a double-edged sword. Ginger, despite having many benefits, can interfere with your glucose levels and increase the risk of hypoglycemia, as well as irritating the stomach and complicating blood clotting. And when it comes to health, especially with diabetes, the ideal is to always opt for the safest path. Cinnamon tea, on the other hand, is an excellent alternative for those who want to enjoy the benefits of a hot and tasty drink without the risks that ginger brings. It can even help keep blood sugar under control, making it a smarter option for those who face the daily challenge of taking care of their health and well-being. Every choice makes a difference, and choosing teas that help control diabetes is something you can do every day without giving up the flavor and pleasure of a good tea. Don't forget that your recipe book is waiting for you in the first comment of this video. Click now and guarantee yours, it's running out. Tea number two, green tea. Let's now talk about a tea that is considered by many to be one of the healthiest in the world, but which can cause serious problems for those with diabetes. Green tea, it is famous for its numerous benefits, such as helping with weight loss, accelerating metabolism, and combating aging, thanks to its high concentration of antioxidants. However, behind this fame, there are some effects of green tea that can be harmful for those who need to control their blood sugar. One of the biggest problems with green tea for people with diabetes is that it contains caffeine, and caffeine in excess can destabilize glucose levels. As, when you consume caffeine, it can cause your body to release more adrenaline, which ultimately increases your blood sugar levels. This happens because adrenaline, when released, signals the liver that it should release more glucose into the blood. And for those who are already struggling to keep these levels balanced, this can be a headache. Suddenly, your blood sugar spikes without you realizing it, and controlling these spikes can be a challenge. Additionally, green tea is known to speed up metabolism. For many people, this effect is considered positive, but for those taking medications to control diabetes, this can be a complicated factor. Speedy metabolism can cause medications to be processed faster, which means they may not last as long as needed in your body to keep your blood sugar under control. This effect can cause fluctuations in glucose levels, which makes controlling diabetes even more difficult. Another point to consider is that green tea can be very acidic, and this can cause gastric discomfort in some people. If you already take medications that irritate your stomach, green tea may worsen the problem. And for those with diabetes, a healthy stomach is essential, as poor digestion can interfere with the absorption of nutrients and, consequently, blood sugar control. Did you know that green tea can also interfere with certain medications? A classic example is the interaction of green tea with anticoagulant medications. Green tea contains vitamin K, which can reduce the effectiveness of these medications, increasing the risk of clots and other complications. For those with diabetes, circulation can already be a delicate problem, and any interference in this process can be risky. And there's more. Excessive consumption of green tea can overload the kidneys. This is because green tea has diuretic properties, which means it makes you urinate more eliminating fluids from the body. For those with diabetes, taking care of the kidneys is essential, as they already work twice as hard to filter excess glucose. If you consume green tea in large quantities, your kidneys may become overworked, increasing your risk of kidney problems. If you are used to drinking green tea and are looking for a safer alternative, I recommend lemongrass tea. Lemongrass is a calming and digestive plant that does not have the side effects of green tea, such as caffeine, or the impact on metabolism. Furthermore, 
It helps you relax and can be consumed at night without fear of unregulating blood sugar or interfering with sleep. To prepare lemongrass tea, you only need a few fresh or dried leaves. Boil 250 ml of water, turn off the heat and place the lemongrass leaves in the hot water. Leave to infuse for about 5 minutes, strain and drink. This tea is great for drinking at night because it has a calming effect and helps you relax without putting a strain on your digestive system or kidneys. And best of all, it doesn't interfere with your glucose levels, which is perfect for those with diabetes. Ultimately, green tea, which has such a good reputation, may not be the best choice for those with diabetes. It can increase glucose levels, accelerate metabolism in an unwanted way, and even overload the kidneys. Not to mention the interaction with some medications, which can be dangerous. Therefore, it is always important to pay attention to what you consume. Not everything that is considered healthy works for everyone, and green tea is a great example of this. Lemongrass, on the other hand, is a safe and efficient alternative that helps with relaxation and digestion without compromising your health. For those with diabetes, making safe choices is essential to maintain well-being and ensure that the body continues to function at its best. Tea. Number 1. Black Tea. Now let's talk about black tea, one of the most consumed teas in the world, but which can be quite harmful for those with diabetes. Although black tea is popular for its strong flavor and antioxidant properties, it contains caffeine and other compounds that can destabilize your glucose levels and affect the overall health of those who need to monitor their diabetes closely. One of the main problems with black tea is, like green tea, the amount of caffeine it contains, and you may already know, caffeine can be treacherous for those with diabetes. When consuming black tea, the level of caffeine in the body increases, and this can trigger a greater release of adrenaline, which causes the liver to release more glucose into the bloodstream. The result? Blood sugar spikes that can be difficult to control. This increase in glucose can happen unexpectedly, and for those who are already taking medications to regulate blood sugar, this can be a big problem. Adrenaline not only increases blood sugar, it can also cause a feeling of anxiety and malaise, symptoms that are often mixed with those of hyperglycemia. Another point is that black tea can also interfere with the action time of medications. When you consume a caffeine-rich drink, such as black tea, your body processes food and medicine more quickly. This can cause the medications you take to control your blood sugar to be metabolized prematurely, leaving you more vulnerable to glucose spikes and crashes. Furthermore, Black tea, as it is very acidic, can irritate some people's stomach, especially if consumed on an empty stomach. For those with diabetes, this is something to be considered carefully, as any gastric irritation can interfere with proper digestion and absorption of nutrients. If your digestive system isn't working well, it may be more difficult to keep your glucose levels stable. And just like green tea, black tea also has a diuretic effect. This means that it increases the body's elimination of fluids, which can lead to dehydration. Dehydration is especially dangerous for those with diabetes, as glucose levels tend to rise when the body is low on water. Additionally, your kidneys, which already work hard to filter excess glucose, can become overworked if you are losing excess fluids. And taking good care of your kidneys is essential to avoid long-term complications, such as kidney failure, which is a high risk for those with diabetes. If you are a fan of black tea and are looking for a safer alternative for your everyday life, I recommend rooibos tea. Unlike black tea, rooibos does not contain caffeine, which means it won't cause glucose spikes or speed up your metabolism out of control. Additionally, rooibos tea is rich in antioxidants and has a mild flavor, somewhat reminiscent of black tea but without the harmful side effects. Here's a simple recipe to replace black tea with rooibos tea. Boil 250 ml of water, turn off the heat, and add a tablespoon of rooibos leaves. Leave to infuse for about five minutes, strain and drink. Rooibos can be consumed hot or cold, depending on your preference, and is a great option to take during the day, without the risk of increasing blood sugar or overloading the kidneys. Black tea may be tasty, but for those with diabetes it can bring more complications than benefits. Increased glucose levels, interference with medications, and diuretic effects are problems you simply don't need to have. Opting for safer alternatives, like rooibos tea, is a way to ensure you're doing the best for your body, without giving up good tea. When it comes to taking care of your health with diabetes, 
Every choice makes a difference. And replacing black tea with something lighter, caffeine-free like rooibos can be a small change that will have big benefits for your glucose control and kidney health. Now that you know about dangerous teas, there is something even more important that you need to see. I left a playlist on the screen with the best videos about good and bad drinks for people with diabetes. There are a lot of things there that you probably don't even imagine could be hurting or helping you, and if you don't click, you could end up losing valuable information that makes all the difference in your daily control. So click now and watch. See you there.